Hello and welcome to the M7 Innovation Brief. I'm your host, Matt Maher, and over the course of the next minute, we're gonna give you the latest in media, tech, and innovation. 60 seconds on the clock, let's do it. Apple had its big special event this week, but the new iPhone wasn't the most interesting part. Their new streaming service, Apple TV Plus, is only $4.99 a month, and if you buy any of the new iPhones, iPads, or Apple TVs, you get the subscription for free for a year. This is interesting because Apple's the only one of the streaming giants that can cross-sell like this. Disney, Netflix, Hulu, they have no hardware, and let's be honest, that Amazon Fire TV Cube box thing, not exactly flying off the shelves. Apple has a great incentive, it's gonna have great content, and now it has the best price. McDonald's is bringing voice technology to its drive throughs The fast food giant just acquired Apprente, a startup that can automate voice-based ordering in multiple languages. I love this because I've said brands need a voice strategy. This is next level. This is creating operational efficiencies via voice. Brands have to realize that voice technology is not a silo channel, but rather a frictionless medium that can solve business problems. We're gonna stay on this voice train. The Google Nest Mini speaker was just announced and we noticed an interesting wrinkle. According to a sketch filed with the Federal Communications Commission, the Google Nest Mini will have a wall mount. I know it seems simple, but think of the implications. If Google and Amazon can create more voice touch points without physically cluttering up our spaces, it's only going to increase the ubiquity and usage of vocal assistants. Well, that's all the time that we have for the M7 Innovation Brief. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.